All right, let's get this out of the way before you get mad. I bought this hard drive from a place called East Digital. They've been around for a little while now and they have a pretty good reputation from Ozbargain as well as their eBay store. The hard drive I bought is a 12 terabyte Seagate Exos X16 and it was pretty decent when I opened it up and I was surprised at how good the packaging was. It wasn't just chucked in a bag and would have definitely survived this. It came sealed and looked like it was brand new from which this company claims. They also claim it has zero runtime and are just bulk OEMs. Unfortunately, being an OEM means I can't claim any sort of warranty from Seagate if something goes wrong, but they do seem to have a 3 year warranty which seems to be alright from online reviews. Nevertheless, the drive looks new, shipped really securely, and actually arrived, so there's no scam here from what I can tell. Next step is to get it in my PC. Of course, it's super easy to install, and then I booted up my PC because I need me to see if this drive is going to work. I opened up drive partitions, and bam, it's right there. 12 terabytes ready to be allocated. The drive pops up on Task Manager, and Crystal Dismark Info shows zero hours. Although this can be fake, but I really doubt it by the looks of this drive and the reputation of the store. Pretty happy so far. So so we got a 12 terabyte Seagate Exos hard drive working for that amazing price. Wait, how much did it really cost? I paid a total of a drum roll, please. 240 New Zealand dollars, including shipping. So that's around 140 US dollars as of the 25th of November 2024. So not a bad deal at all. If I even try any hard drive in New Zealand for 240 New Zealand dollars, I could probably only get between a 6 and 8 terabyte drive. And that's not even an enterprise grade one. A similar 12 terabyte Iron Wolf NAS is 499 on special, and an actual Seagate Exos 12 terabyte could be up to 646 New Zealand dollars. Honestly, not a bad deal for $20 per terabyte or 2 cents per GB if I round. Having a look at price by New Zealand, not even the top 10 per terabyte come close to the $20 per terabyte that I paid with the lowest in New Zealand being $36 per terabyte. So I know this is a pretty good deal. This is more storage than I'll ever need at 12 terabytes but now I won't have to worry for a while about running out of storage. Usually I wouldn't chuck everything on one drive, but I have multiple drives that are nearly full now and my 3TB drive just filled up over the last 2 years, so I really was in need of some more storage. I probably overspent a bit considering I could have got a 6TB drive for much less and this 12TB drive might just fail me before I even come close to filling it up at my current rate. Usually a good rule of thumb is to not buy more storage than you need according to the dollar cost per terabyte, but it really depends on your circumstances. With more projects coming up for the channel, I think 12 terabytes might be a good call. How has this hard drive been running? Well, it's just been about two and a half weeks now and I'd like to say everything's good, but I gotcha. Yeah, even this thing is fine. I have the drive at 9.88 terabytes now, so not too much use, but no issues in terms of data corruption or lag from the actual drive. One thing to point out is that from this particular Exos drive, it's really loud. When it's being used, I can really hear it working. But it's all good, because I know that this drive was designed for a data center and not my PC. What are some downsides to buying a hard drive like this? First is warranty. If anything happens, I could be out of luck. They're in Hong Kong, and for a while now, they look like they're upholding their warranty according to online reviews. Who knows how long this website will keep open, or if they'll honor it in two years time for example. I may also have to ship the drive back if it's not working, but I can't confirm this. 
This is not a diss to East Digital, but it's just a risk factor there. Another risk factor here is that I'm storing sensitive information like photos and videos, but I have redundancy. All of the footage you see from this channel are backed up from my PC to my server's hard drive, which is then backed up to Backblaze as well as Google Photos, so I'm covered if anything goes wrong. I can see buying a cheap drive like this can be an issue for someone who just wants the cheap drive and doesn't back up properly. You could run into issues in the long run. Another downside is that East Digital runs out of stock quickly, as in the drive I purchased is already out of stock from their store. Not really a downside, but just good advice is to check the failure rate of the drive online to see what you're in for in the long run. Basically, you need to weigh up if the money you're saving is worth it from the pros and cons to see if it's worth it or not. What are the upsides? It's cheap, the drives are shipped quickly with good packaging, and East Digital have a wide range of drives, even refurbished ones, but I personally prefer the brand new drives. East Digital have a decent online reputation to uphold, and for a while now have shown this on Ozbargain as well as their eBay store. The store also has some specials occasionally that can even put Amazon to shame in terms of pricing. I live in New Zealand, so don't blame me, everything's expensive here. Lastly, it took around two weeks to ship, which is pretty quick through Hong Kong Post, at least for me in New Zealand. To me, this was a no-brainer in a country where every tech product is already overpriced. It was really easy for me to pull the trigger and purchase this 12TB drive. Although more than I'll ever need for ages, this is one of the best dollar cost per terabyte on East Digital's website at the time, and I feel that the 6TB alternative that I was considering would have been a little bit too less. So yeah, I bought this 12TB hard drive for 140 US dollars, which was a steal, and weighing up the pros and cons, I'd say for myself, it was a pretty good deal. That about sums up the video, check out wirestech.org for some more awesome content. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!